Good morning, guys. Just made myself a nice little coffee. Oh my god, it's so good. It's the first coffee I make um, since I'm back from my cottage. Mmm. I need to clean around the house because I'm I'm home alone, which is first of all scaring me to shits. I'm like so scared of everything all the time. I had a bunch of parcels I received yesterday that I opened, and um, now I need to just clean everything because it's all laying around on the floor. And I have my friend Bridget. She is uh, traveling from Toronto today. So I'm gonna pick her up at the train station at 1.30ish, something like that. Right now it's not even nine. I'm picking her up and today we're gonna go shoot some outfits, gonna take it easy. And I was like, I'm gonna bring you to like shop, to fun little boutiques and whatever. But everything is closed in Montreal on Sundays for some COVID reason. So it's Sunday and we have nowhere to go. The reason why she's traveling here is pretty exciting. We're shooting a collab together. So that's really cool. We're doing that tomorrow and she's staying, staying for three days. Cranberry and pumpkin seed. So good. Breakfast is ready so we have plain and simple fucking cheddar butter toast situation. And I'm gonna watch and just like that. Update, I did a workout in my living room. It felt so good and proud of myself. My makeup is done and I need to pick an outfit and leave ASAP. I'm happy to say that my outfit is picked out. So I'm wearing some earmuffs. <laughs> Obviously a tiny little cute ass scarf and this. Okay, so I'm here parked waiting for bridge. My puffer was too puffy, so like impossible to drive and like see like this. <laughs> Guys, it's me. I'm back. <laughs> Long time no see. I know. It's it's felt like more than a month though. It's been more than a month. Yeah. Ordered a chocolate pizza that I forgot to film. And we are watching Hype House on Netflix. Honestly, it's good. It's interesting. Look at him! What the fuck? Good morning, guys. It looks like I'm giving birth. I slept really, really bad. And I'm just gonna do a quick little flow to try to get the juices flowing. My coffee machine is so dumb, I need to hold my mug like this so the coffee doesn't spill everywhere. Come on now. Oh, and my milk is struggling because of all the chocolate chips in there. Oh, I forgot to press. Cheers, guys. Okay, so today, me and Bridget need to shoot a collaboration together, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not our first work together and it's actually nice to do some work with a friend especially in this industry where you're kind of always alone well that sounded intense but you know okay so what i would do before shooting a collab i would go check back uh the brief so this is what i'm doing right now this is a very poor example because i can't find the brief <laughs> so in this case i just email my manager and rely on her <laughs> oh fuck Hi guys, and me and Bridget are done shooting our campaign. The whole freaking house is a disaster, so we're just kind of doing nothing and waiting for our food to get here. We ordered some um, Asian food and it's gonna be fucking delicious. We're probably gonna do a bit of shopping. I need to go to Sephora. Uh, Bridget wants to go do a bit of thrifting, obviously. And I also wanna buy a journal today. You know, I'm trying to be like this healthy bitch, so. This is my outfit. It's a bit intense, but I like it. Leaving. <laughs> is it zoomed in? No. We went to Sephora, we went to Indigo. Now we're gonna go pick up a cute little bottle of wine. We also took some pictures. A lady stopped me and was like, Yeah, what did she say? Yeah, she said, oh, How can you say that in English? She was like, You really stand out wearing those pants. She had like a crazy fur hat I on. know. I was like, girlfriend, you stand out too. I know, I was like, and I was not sure if it was a compliment the way she said it, I was just like. <laughs> Me. I don't know what to say. It's minus 25. <laughs> Grab your jacket. Okay, so we're done shooting for today. Thankfully. <laughs> We're back home and we're gonna cook ourselves some sage butter gnocchis and we bought some kale to make a kale salad. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Night two. Just cooking up some butter. 
Mushroom. mushrooms. That we're also gonna roast some mamas in here. We fucking did this. Come on. Come on! Oh, that's a shitty horse, sorry. Oh, yeah. This is the second game of the night. We're playing Remy. And I'm sad to say that Bridget won the first game. I'm not. If you know, you know. Also, with Remy, the best game ever. I, I love Remy, too. I won two games in a row. I actually slayed. As you guys may have noticed, I have been wearing the same crew net for the past three days. It's already dirty, but it's gonna get way too dirty. Then I'm gonna have to wash it, and then I'm gonna have a new one for the next five days. I put Bridget on my coffee order, and she's trying it. Honest. Oh my god, yeah, you can taste it. It's like subtle. I know. And it's like not sweet, because it's no. like semi-sweet uh, ch dark <gasps> chocolate. I love that. Oh. 10 out of 10, baby. Yeah. I'm in the car with Bridget. Uh, it's her last few hours here because I'm gonna go drive her to the train station. Bridget is gone. Now I'm at my boyfriend's house. You might recognize his house with this beautiful art. Also, our two new friends, Mr. and Mrs. Sheep. I'm in bed with my mojito. I feel like I'm being unproductive here. Like, it was, of course, like, not, like, a typical week for me because Bridget was here, but I kind of feel like I was not productive as much as I am usually and uninspired ever since I got back from my cottage. I'm home alone, which is just so lame. And I work from home, too, so that's also kind of, like, now. So I'm thinking I want to go back to my cottage. So I would drive there by myself, I think. Go hang out with my family a bit. I had a routine when I was in my cottage. I would just do all my content in the morning at my meetings. I had everything. Morning, guys. It's 5.50 a.m. and I decided I wanted to go to my cottage. I decided last night so I don't have anything packed and I decided to wake up early. Because remember, it's a 10 hour drive, so nothing's ready. Step one was make the bed. Momo. Looney. This is where we're at right now. I realized that I have no cosmetics ready yet. I don't want to pack a third suitcase simply because it's in a creepy room of my basement and I don't want to go get it. I'm pathetic, I know. Okay, so I ended up packing a third suitcase. Now, I think everything is pretty much ready. I'm like tired because that was a lot. Uh, guys, my trunk is full, my back seat is full, my front seat is like partially full and we made it. I started packing at six, what time are we now? 7.30, not bad. Let's go. I'm at my first stop. I'm at Starbucks. I am excited to eat, excited to have a coffee. I'm listening to uh, Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain. I'm listening to her episode New Year's Resolution, and I think it's very um, on brand for right now. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I slept so terribly. There was like a light, freaking bright spotlight heading into my room, and my dad didn't know how to close it. It was self programmed if you will so they were shutting down at 2 a.m unpopular opinion i think pimples are cute okay guys it's 11 a.m and i told my dad i was feeling sad and he offered me a shooter <laughs> to being happy and we're only taking one though bye enough